Hello and welcome to From the Lab, where we feature scientific research and researchers from different laboratories across France. Today I'm visiting the LPC2E in Orléans, which is around 130 kilometers from Paris. This lab specializes in space sciences as well as in building satellite payloads. Let's take a look. I am at LPC2E, which stands for Laboratory of Physics and Chemistry of Environment and Space. LPC2E is playing a major role in the upcoming Taranis mission, which will investigate the spectacular lighting effects seen above thunderstorms. This mission is scheduled to be launched on 14th November. I am here to meet Jean-Louis Poinçon, who is the principal investigator of this mission. Thank you, Jean-Louis, for joining us. What is the Taranis mission and what are its scientific objectives? So first of all, welcome to LPC2E. My pleasure to welcome you here. So yes, Taranis is about the physics of thunderstorms. So it was discovered beginning of the 90s that there are a lot of phenomena that are occurring above thunderstorms, transient luminous events, terrestrial gamma ray flashes. And the purpose of Taranis is to collect, is to go above thunderstorms and from there to collect as much as possible data regarding these phenomena in order to answer all the uh, remaining questions regarding the physics of this phenomena. How will you observe this phenomena and how will you collect the data? So, yeah, that's, that's a very good question. So the point is that on board Terranis, we will have many different instruments because the basic idea is to uh, have the possibility to have information regarding all the possible signatures associated to this phenomena. So on board Terranis, we will have, we will have optical instruments, gamma ray instruments, electric and magnetic field instruments, and electron detection instruments. So it's a very complete uh, set of instruments in order to get as much as possible uh, knowledge about uh, the TLEs and TGFs. What role will LPC2E play in this mission? So we are playing a major role in, in Taranis. So we have the scientific leadership of, 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 of the mission. So, and we are providing, the lab itself is providing uh, two instruments for the scientific payload, but we are also playing a major role for the coordination at the scientific level between all the labo laboratories uh, involved into the project. And we are also, the LPC2 is going to be the, the, the command central during the operational phase of Taranis. So this is where all the scientific community will have to connect to get access to the data. And why is it important to study these phenomena? So also, yes, this is very important. I think so initially, this phenomena was supposed to be very rare. And we know right now that this is not at all the case. This is, they are very frequent. There are thousands and thousands of events like that every day. So we cannot ignore anymore the possibility that this phenomena could, play a major, could have a major impact on the physics and the, of the atmosphere uh, above the thunderstorms. So we have to, to try to get information about them and to try to see what is their impact. Thank you very much, Jean-Louis, for your time, and we cannot wait to see the results of this fascinating mission. That's all we have this time. See you again from a different lab.